So what's going on guys and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new small easter egg on Dirt Eisendracker involving the melee plunger weapon and newspapers. Now you may or may not have noticed but in the mission control room you're going to be finding a newspaper on a table. This newspaper has the headline huge parade in London large turnout for parade with a picture of a large group of people. Now there's another newspaper we can actually find in the projector room next to Sam's room and on that it says report of zombie attacks in London officials not confirming. Now I noticed these newspapers on day one of this map coming out but it's only recently been discovered that these newspapers are interactable. Now big credit for this find goes to Glitching Queen she's the first one that I've seen to upload seeing this newspaper easter egg and actually get these newspaper headlines to change and it's almost like a ongoing story that we're actually affecting with the plunger. So let's jump back a little bit and get to basics on how we actually get to this easter egg. So first of all, you need to get yourself the melee plunger weapon. Now, in order to get this, you need to build the Ragnarok DG4 gravity spikes. If you do not know how to build those, I have a link down below in the description to tell you guys how to get those. But once you've gotten them, you want to make your way to the bell tower. You want to shoot this wall with a bow and it will reveal the cogs within the clock tower itself. Plant down your Ragnarok DG4s as a trap. And now this little machine down the bottom with this lever will now be interactable where you can actually change the time on the clock. Now, there's been quite a few videos I've uploaded where easter eggs involve this so you're probably quite aware of this but just in case you aren't you need to get the hands to be bang on 935. Now the best way to do this is to hold a crawler and then just keep pausing the clock when you're in the time of nine o'clock and just keep pausing it and listing out for the ticks and counting how many you need to get onto the next sort of time frame. I do this where if I'm on like 915 for instance I'll make sure I get to 925 by counting 10 ticks and then pausing again and then counting the next 10 to get to 9 three five but once you've gotten onto nine three five you'll hear this very strange groaning noise come from the bell tower when lightning strikes if you go down to the undercroft you'll now see a little orb appearing above the pyramid and when anti-gravity is enabled you'll be able to jump on the walls and if you keep wall running along these walls eventually you will get teleported back in time to the lab room where you can pick up the plunger melee weapon now the next step we need is to get this to be a flaming plunger i uploaded a video on this a few days ago and if you've seen that you'll know that this flaming plunger allows you to insta kill panzers but now with the latest kind of hot fix Triarch have added in the fact that with the flaming plunger you can now insta kill zombies and what you need to do is you need to get yourself a panzer sold out and you need to kill it which will then give you the flaming plunger now you want to run over to this mission control area and by this table you want to start killing zombies with the plunger now as you're meleeing these zombies with your flaming plunger you'll notice that they literally just disintegrate they just completely disappear and after around about five or so zombie kills the newspaper headline will actually change completely and there'll be a brand new image on there now in the projector room there was another newspaper which said reports of zombie attacks in london officials not confirming this will now appear on the newspaper in the mission control so we've actually changed the newspaper entirely so it's like as if what happened back in that time frame we've actually affected by plungering these zombies and almost teleporting them to that time in london now we're not quite done here as we can actually change this newspaper paper one more time so you want to get yourself a panzer kill again you can do that by either waiting another five to six rounds for one to spawn in or you can do the wisp step in the easter egg and that will spawn in a panzer sold at every single round you want to kill that panzer and then again keep meleeing zombies with the flaming plunger by the newspaper and it should transform one more time now this newspaper headline says zombie attack in the heart of london and we have an image of a bunch of zombies underneath this headline now funnily enough this exact image that's on the news newspaper it's actually a promotional image that Activision released for Shadows of Evil it's the exact same image and they've just darkened the background you can still tell that Shadows of Evil in the background so I can't tell if that was intentional or if Treyarch were just pretty lazy at that point and decided not to change the background image now there's one small headline next to the major one which says Parliament gathers for emergency meeting so it seems like with our flaming plunger we've actually managed to teleport the zombies we killed in De Eisendrak to London causing a zombie attack in this parade. Now, this is extremely interesting how we've affected time. We had to go back in time to get ourselves this plunger weapon and now using something we got back in the past we are now using the present to affect something else that happened in the past. Completely changing the events that happened there and causing a zombie outbreak in the heart of London. Now, like I mentioned I noticed these newspapers a long long time ago but I didn't really think too much of it but the fact that we've changed the events and managed to 
get this brand new newspaper to be shown in replace of the one that is originally there when you start up every single game. It makes it feel like Treyarch have put this in as a subtle hint towards what we could possibly see in the future. We've never had a map that really takes place in the heart of a city and we've definitely never seen a location as London being a zombies map. We've had hints of a location being in Pompeii which is a Pacific island which we'll probably see Takio in. We've got hints for Stalingrad where we'll see the test subject for Nikolai which is in Russia. I've got videos on both of those by the way if you want to check those out on my channel but we've not had any other hints for any other map locations but now we do with London. This could possibly lead to nothing at all and just be a really cool little easter egg where we've managed to affect events somewhere but wouldn't it be awesome to see a zombies map take place in the heart of London? I really really like that idea. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below about the location of a London map. I think it'd be really really cool. Now I thought once you activated this newspaper it was going to do something on the map or give you something but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now I showed you guys earlier there's another newspaper location in the projector room. Now I'd done this at quite a late round but I had around about 10 or so zombies which I used with the flaming plunger next to this newspaper and it didn't do anything whatsoever. I thought okay so I went ahead and I'd done the first newspaper which I showed you that actually changes and then I was back to meleeing at the second one and after killing around about 10 to 15 zombies by this newspaper it hadn't changed at all so I'm assuming that the first newspaper in mission control is the only one that changes and that's all it really does it just seems to have changed the newspaper paper headline which means we've affected something in history which is pretty cool but there's no other implications to that after you've actually done that. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section about this really cool little easter egg. I think it's so cool that Treyarch have added in really subtle things like this. It just goes to show you that there really is lots and lots of tiny little easter eggs to be found and I hope that there's even more to find besides this one but if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button I really would appreciate it and subscribe for more zombie videos like this and I'll catch you guys in another one very very soon.